I am back with another video. Today we are playing the game Would You Rather on either .io. I'll link it in the description down below so you can play it yourself. And uh, let's get to it. So this one is Would You Rather Always Know When People Are Lying or Always Get Away With Lying. So on one hand, if people are lying to you, you can tell that it's a lie. On the other hand, always getting away with lying sounds like if you were to tell your teacher, oh, I forgot my homework, I'll bring it in tomorrow, like, I didn't do, let me come up with a good example, I, like, you tell your teacher, like, oh, I didn't, um, like, my dog ate my homework. And they're like, oh, you're dogging your homework? Oh, it's okay. Um, you could make it up in the following week. I don't know. I'm just making up a bunch of stuff. But um, which one would I choose? I think get away, getting away with lying sounds like, ooh, I'm with the lower demographic over here. But I, I feel like I, you could get away with a bunch of stuff, like especially crimes. Not like I'm saying I would commit any crimes but uh, let's not say anything like that before I get arrested out this bitch. Magic? Uh, would you rather magically flip genders every year or be forced to move and st and start fresh every year? Damn. Well, since I don't like, I don't want to like like move everywhere each year. Because I love where I'm at. Well, it's Jersey City, but I, I love, I grew up here. Um, 1999 strong. And, um, yeah, I would never like, want to leave my family and friends. And magically flip genders every year sounds like it would be painful. Especially for a woman's uh, menstrual cycle. <sighs> down so now it won't feel as low but uh, I think I'm gonna choose be forced to move and start well no uh, well I'll magically flip genders each year because I don't want to leave my friends and 60% against 40 nice next one um would you rather have extremely muscular arms, haha, <laughs> which I do not have, or have extremely muscular legs, which I mostly almost have? <sighs> this one's a dumb one, so I guess I'm just going to choose muscular arms. <laughs> Most people went with that anyway. I think, yeah, now that I think about it, like, muscular legs would probably be gross. Um, would you rather go one year without your teeth or go one year without the internet? <sighs> well, I need my Netflix and chill, so I guess I'll go one year without teeth. And most people chose one year without the internet. Well, that's crazy. Well, I wouldn't call it crazy because, like, I could live without the internet, but probably not for, like, a, like, over... I couldn't live without the internet for, like, about a month or two, so maybe three months at best. I'd probably break down. Anyway, if you had to die, would you rather die a painful death that goes down in history or die a painless death that everyone hates you for? I'd rather die a painful death that goes down in history because I want to be remembered as a hero, maybe. Yes. Next one is, would you rather have uncontrollable diarrhea or have uncontrollable, uncontrollable vomiting? Oh, like the thought, like the visuals is just like, on like on one half you have like you're like you're just crapping all over the place 
and then the other half is just like you're vomiting like it's just non-stop it's coming like up like up the stomach through the throat and it has to hurt it and like it ha- it may hurt your throat but on this side you're going to get butt burn so oh man i think with uncontrollable vomiting you'd probably die so i think i'd rather have uncontrollable diarrhea because i am not risking suffocation on my own vomit well uh next one would you rather be sent into space without enough oxygen or be thrown naked into a pit of deadly scorpions oh hell yeah i definitely no matter how scary i know and think it is I would be on the first space shuttle out here out into outer space and like <laughs> if you want to see me get thrown into a pit of deadly snakes I mean scorpions I can't read today then you are just horrible horrible people Next one is, would you rather watch The Big Bang Theory or watch The Office? Well, I've watched both. Well, that depends if it's the British Office or the the U.S. version. I like the U.S. version because it's, I just think it's funny. And The Big Bang Theory is really funny. Like, my favorite character is Sheldon Cooper, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Jim... Jim something I don't remember his name but <laughs> anyway um yeah but um the show I would watch is the Big Bang Theory I guess because it's funnier like the office has been around for a long time but the Big Bang Theory is where it's at man knowledge is power <laughs> <sighs> would you rather stop showering or stop brushing your teeth. So this is what it's come down to. Hygiene. We got no showering at all versus no brushing your teeth at all. Damn. Looks like I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of cans of Axe body spray. Because I want to have my pearly whites. Well, I guess that would suck anyway. Alright, would you rather eat 50 chicken nuggets or eat 6 Big Macs? These questions are getting dumber and dumber. And uh, I think I would choose uh, eat 50 chicken nuggets since I already do that anyway. Uh, The majority agrees, 63 against... 37, nice, I would eat chicken nuggets all day, every day, all day, every day, uh, this one is, um, would you rather get shot or get stabbed, and <laughs> it says too many variables, I'm going to assume that I was stabbed with a hyper hypodermic needle while getting my blood taken well I think that I would choose getting maybe uh like getting shot because getting stabbed sounds like it would be really really painful and most people agree 74 to 26 all right this next one is uh if you were a pirate, would you rather have a pet monkey or have a talking parrot? Well, I would have a talking parrot because that sounds the most fun. And most people wouldn't agree. It sounds like they want 60, like 61% want uh, talking, I mean, not talking, but like just a pet monkey. And this last one is, would you rather face a zombie attack or face a shark attack? Hmm. Let's go into overtime. What I would do... 
Hmm. I would face a zombie attack, because then, like, you could fight things off, obviously. Like, what can I fight it off with? I could, I could use this screwdriver. This, this really hard screwdriver that I have over here for no reasons at all. It's not like I did anything. Yet. Alright. <laughs> this question so dumb. But it says, um, <laughs> never be able to say, well, it doesn't really make sense. Never be able to say, uh, would you rather, never be able to say thanks or please. Well, I'm, I never really say please anyway, so. Thanks. Cause now I can't say the word. P I can't. I can't say the word. P p p <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> p I don't know what that was. But it's like I couldn't say the word. Please. I don't. I don't know what happened. But um. Anyway, would you rather vacation in the Pacific? Or a vacation in the Caribbean. Well, since I'm already in the Pacific, I think. Um, let me look at a map real quick. Yeah, so since I already like live near the Pacific Ocean, like I I could literally go on any part of the border of the Pacific and do whatever I want. But um I think I wanna like the Caribbean is basically near the Pacific anyway, so that. Alright, I'm probably gonna do like five more and then I'm gonna be done. So, um this one is would you rather be stabbed in the stomach ten times or be shot in both kneecaps? Uh, these aren't, these shouldn't be funny. Uh, oh yeah, I don't like the feel, like the feeling of getting like pricked by like needles and stuff like that. I don't like getting shots at the, the doctor. So getting stabbed is totally out of the question. I'd rather be shot in both kneecaps no matter like how my, how much blood I lose or if I'm confined to a wheelchair. So being shot in both kneecaps is the best approach and most people agree 54 to 46. That's nice. Um, next one. Would you rather lose an arm and one foot, or lose a, or lose a leg and one hand? I mean, aren't they kind of the same? Because like, if you lose an arm, you lose a you, you lose a hand too. And if you lose a leg, oh no, it's not what I wanted to do. You get what I was going at. I'm sorry that my mouse on my laptop is mentally challenged. And to keep this video going, the punishment for my computer is I have to go through another couple more. So, would you rather give up um give up buttons and zippers or give up velcro and knots this one oh um buttons refer to the clothing um they already you would be unable unable to wear anything with these traits so i'd rather give up Vel velcro because i gave up velcro what back when i was in the sixth grade <laughs> I don't wear Skechers anymore, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, this next one is, if you wanted to live, well, um, would you rather live in, live until you're 80 but morbidly obese, or live until you're 50 but have supermodel looks? Well, ooh, that's a hard one. Live until you, you live until you're 80 but you're 
um, a big person, or live until you're 50, but you have supermodel, but you're like a girl's best friend. I'm going to let fate decide for me. So... Well... There's your answer. Only be able to see the world in a shade of red. Or barely hear people when they speak. Well, since I listen to music too much and I barely hear people at all, because I always have headphones on, I'm going to choose this one. And the majority chooses to see the world in red the whole entire time of their life. And that's hard. <laughs> I would never do that. Um, would you rather only drink carbonated beverages or never drink carbonated be beverages? I'd probably never drink because I'm trying to cut down on my calories. I'm trying to cut down on that soda because I have my my goal by the like by the time like right after my birthday, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop uh, drinking soda. That means no Pepsi. No, I don't even drink orange soda, but no Crush, no no uh, Coca Cola, no Dr Pepper, no Sprite or anything like that. <laughs> A little known fact about me, I'm cutting down on sweets. Alright, these last couple of ones, um, these last three are going to be, uh, would you rather fight a wolf with your bare hands or fight a large bear with a sword? Oh man, hell yeah, fight a large bear with, like, I have a weapon, so I have the advantage over here. I don't care how big the bear is. I'm... Give him to me! It's going to be the Revenant, but this time I'm going to win. I like not like uh damn it <laughs> Alright, these are the last three so uh I've uh would you rather be married to a Jersey Shore housemate or be married to a real housewife cast member I do not watch the Real Housewives of whatever, and I used to watch Jersey Shore all the time, but uh, I don't care. And most people chose sick. Uh, it was a toss-up for me. I didn't really care. But um, all right, this is number two. The second one. Talking about some donuts. I'll eat them later. Sorry, that was my mom telling me that I have donuts waiting for me in the kitchen, and I'll get them right after this. But um, last two. Would you rather have the crush of your dreams, which I already do, or have infinite amounts of your favorite appetizer? And for sure, I'm going to eat all of the mozzarella sticks in. The Applebee's, you will never see them again. And, uh, I just love cheese. Mmm, delicious. And the last one, would you rather launch an atomic bomb or be bombed with an atomic bomb? I want to survive, so... I'd rather launch the atomic bomb. I'm no... I'm not the U.S. Army in the 1940s of the World War II. But anyway, I'm, I guess I'm going to stop right here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, once again, if you want um, stuff, more stuff like this, like Would You Rather, um, comment down below and... Um, also, comment down below of what else you want me to play. And I guess I'll see you home dogs and home next time. Goodbye. Close your eyes.